Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to take a look at parallel circuits and conductance. Remember that conductance was the inverse of resistance. So here we have two resistors in parallel. R1 equals 12 ohms, R2 equals 4 ohms. G1, which is a conduct conductance in branch 1, is 1 over the resistance. And G2, which is a conductance in the second branch, is equal to 1 over the second resistor. Remember that Ohm's law is equal to V over R, and since G is 1 over R, we can write I is equal to G times V. So it's a different form of Ohm's law. If we now want to calculate the current in each of the two branches, we can do it as follows. We realize that the voltage across each branch is equal in a parallel branch. And in this case, the 20 volts across the source must also equal the 20 volts across the first branch and the 20 volts across the second branch. Normally, when we use resistors and current, we have to come up with a kind of complicated equation to come up with the current, but if we use conductance instead, it's actually really easy to find the current in each branch because it's simply the conductance times the voltage. We know the voltage in the first branch is equal to 20 volts. The voltage in the second branch is equal to 20 volts because the voltage across any branch in a parallel circuit is always equal to each other. And then calculating G1 and G2, G1 is equal to 1 over R1, which is equal to 1 over 12. That would be Siemens, because the unit for conductance is Siemens. And G2 is equal to 1 over R2, and R2 is 4 ohms, so it's 1 over 4 Siemens. So those are the two conductances, which means that the current in the first branch is equal to G1 times V. In this case, G1 is 1 over 12 Siemens times V, which is 12 volts. 12 divided by six, uh, 12 divided by 20 divided by 12. 20 divided by 12 is 1.67. 1 1.667 amps. I'll do it to three decimal places. So that's the current in the first branch. And I2 is equal to G2 times V. G2 is 1 over 4 Siemens times 20 volts. That's equal to 20 divided by 4, which is 5.000 amps. There is the current in the second branch. And that should add up to the current of the circuit. So if we try to find I, using the additional method by using resistances, I'm going to find the total resistance, R. Oh, yes, I just saw that. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. So this should be R1, not R2. And uh, R total is equal to the product over the sum, R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. This is equal to 12 times 4 divided by 12 plus 4, which is equal to 48 divided by 16, which is equal to 3 ohms. So that's the equivalent or total resistance in the circuit. Now using Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R, the total voltage, 20 volts, the total resistance, 3 ohms, which is equal to 20 divided by 3 is 6.667 amps, and that should be the same as the sum of these two. And a quick inspection shows that 5 plus 1.667 is indeed 6.67, so we know that these are correct, and it adds up to the total current. Again, you can see that if we use conductance instead of resistance in parallel circuits, it actually makes it easier to find the current in each of the branches. We simply multiply the voltage of each branch, which is equal to the voltage across the branch, times the conductance in each branch, that gives you the current. So it's a quick way to find the current in a different method. That's how it's done.